Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I'm on my way to the bank because I was working on a car at home and I was just scrolling through Facebook Market and I came across a pretty cool potential build that I think will be pretty cool for the channel. So, we're gonna go to the bank, get some cash, go look at it, um, see if we can negotiate a little bit. So, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. So it's kind of last minute too, so I didn't get to go pick anyone up. So I'm gonna go look at it alone. I have cash on hand. Um, so if we do make a deal, I have to drive back home, uh, call a friend, drive back over there, pick up the, the vehicle, and um, drive back home. So, so I think we're getting pretty close. I was using the GPS on my phone, but now that I'm taking this video, um, said I was gonna make a left turn in like half a mile so I'm probably not gonna record the whole interaction just for the dude's um, privacy you know I don't want to feel kind of awkward but we should be pulling up oh yeah it's right here oh boy I can see it from here 12 seconds later oh, I bought it uh, it was super clean, just like the pictures, you know, as exactly like the pictures showed. So, yeah, I negotiated the price. I gave him my offer. He gave me a counter offer, and I was like, nah. And then I gave him another slightly, you know, higher offer, and he still said nah. He gave me his counter offer. Things were getting a little intense, and I was like, all right, all right. You don't like the offer I'm giving you. I don't like the price you're giving me. So, let's just meet in the middle. Uh, he said yeah, so that's where we agreed. Yeah, I can't believe I bought another vehicle. That is so irresponsible of me. But at the same time, I'm pretty happy that I bought it. I mean, it's really kind of good because I mean, it's just more content that I can really be putting out and like, you know, cooler stuff for you guys to see. I regret not, you know, documenting the twin servo 5.0 that i built uh the f-150 the bronco the trans am the camaro the mustang the neon the celine the audi there were so many cool builds that i just didn't you know i don't know i was just like i really don't have i mean i still don't really have time to be videotaping everything but i want to work on it and i want to get you know behind the scenes content that you guys don't see on my Instagram page. Cause on my Instagram page, I kind of just take a picture of what I'm done doing and you guys are cool. You know, you guys give it likes or anything, but you don't know what the, you know, what happened in between, you know, those couple posts. So this kind of gives you guys, um, I guess like a, a sneak peek or like, you know, of what's going on behind the scenes, I guess. It's nothing too exciting. I mean, like I said, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't have a whole bunch of money. I'm not rich. Um, I don't drive all these, you know, fancy luxury, you know, super expensive cars. They're all, they're all really affordable cars. Um, all my builds, you know, you don't have to be rich to, you know, to build them, I guess. Um, you know, kind of just work, save up, buy what you like, you know, work, save up, buy some more stuff and slowly build it. All right, so I'm kind of close to my house. I'm gonna go home, get something to drink, go pick up my friend, go all the way back go get what I just bought and drive all the way back home. I'll probably stop by at a gas station um, so I can just show you guys um, what it is and take a quick video, show you guys, you know, some interior, some exterior and the reasons why I bought it. Okay, so I got home. I'm in the Cadillac now because it is hot and the Mini Cooper does not have any window tint and the Cadillac does. Wait, whoa, whoa, cold beer? Well, I like cold beer. Where I gotta, where I gotta go? On the road again, making bad financial decisions. Oh yeah. All right, so this is it. 1994 short bed single cab f-150 5.0 liter one owner clean title 
90,000 miles, no leaks, nothing. Well, that's because I'm using the AC. The, the AC works, uh, everything works as it should. Everything is stock, stock suspension, uh, the whole motor's original. I mean, there's no modifications done to it. Look at the bed. The bed is super clean. Has this like little rubber mat underneath it. I mean, it's not too bad. The interior is all blue. Door panels are super, super clean. Uh, it is the XL, so it's uh, manual windows, manual locks. There's just no, um, you know, luxuries, I guess. Um, but the seat is super clean. There's no rips. The floor is super clean. The dash, look at the dash. Original radio. This is the only crack that this little bezel has. Um, I mean, I can just order a new one. Steering wheel is super clean. It's a one owner truck, so the title says, you know, his name. Bought it from Ford Motor Company. Super legit. You know, I freaking love it. You know, I had the, the 95 Ford Bronco. So I know exactly, you know, the stuff to appreciate on these old trucks, like the door panels not making any noise, um, the dash not being all cracked. On these OBS Fords, the dash usually breaks on that little corner and it starts hanging down. So when you're driving, it's bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, just rattling the whole dash. Um, I fixed that on my Bronco. Um, they sell a little um, a bracket that you just have to lift up on the dash, drill a hole, and you, you put that bracket on there, and it lifts up the whole dash. So um, it's pretty cool that this is, I don't have to do this to this truck. Um, the radio, the original radio, I love it. AC controls, AC works real good. Everything is so like, perfect in this truck it is crazy the seats like look at the seats like they were so clean no rips nothing the seats are super comfy like they, they is super super comfortable steering wheel nice and clean like man this truck is just gorgeous the only thing that i think would have made this truck better would be if it was four by four that would have been awesome um it's two-wheel drive still 5.0 liter um so these motors are really reliable um the truck i mean the truck is super low mileage anyway so i don't see myself having any engine problems anytime soon so yeah guys that's the truck i mean i hope you guys are excited uh, to see what i'm gonna do with it i already have some ideas in mind of what i'm gonna do in my head i picture it looking really clean really you know og style um, F-150 so yeah you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned and see what I do to this truck um, I always like these OBS's I have a lot of fun building them um, and I love them I mean I love these trucks so yeah uh, you guys let me know what you guys think of the new truck um, well I mean not new but new to me um, let me know what you guys think if you like it if you don't like it what you think I should do what you think I shouldn't do um, at the end of the day I'm still gonna do whatever I'm gonna do so here we are pulling into my little neighborhood. We're gonna see my 68 sitting in the driveway. This truck next to the 68 is gonna look pretty cool. Um, turn off the lights, turn off the AC. Man, love this truck already. Oh yeah, that looks good together. Hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share it with your homies. And let's see what 
we do with this truck. 